My name is Danny Gallo, and I have launched a fundraiser campaign to raise money for emergency surgery for Cagney, a dog that I recently rescued and brought back from uh, the streets of Rungi, Texas, and brought back to the Northeast with her best buddy, Lacey. October 17th, about a week before I was getting ready to take Cagney and Lacey back to the Northeast, I got a knock on my door. The guy said, hey, I think that dog you've been taking care of got run over by a truck or something happened because she's under my truck bleeding and it doesn't look good. Grabbed a, uh, a towel, wrapped her up, and brought her to the local vet. Uh, they did some emergency surgery, cleaned the wounds out as best they could, uh, installed two drains in her lower abdomen because it was such bad shape that they wanted to make sure that no infection would set in, and they stitched up her legs where they were cut, and uh, they told me that, uh, that she had also endured a, a broken pelvis, and that's why she won't be walking on that, that right leg. And at the same time, um, she broke off about five of her teeth. They, they guessed that she probably was putting up a fight and was biting into the tire. So I took care of her for the, for the next week, and um, following Friday, uh, I took her in to have the drains removed and stitched up, and um, also I got her spayed and her buddy Lacey. They also got spayed at the same time. Three or four days later, they were in really good shape. I then took, packed them into the car and drove them back to the Northeast. I arrived on uh, Thursday the 30th, met with Tom and Gail, and um, just Cagney and Lacey just took to them immediately, uh, and it just was just amazing, and, and, and they were just so happy to have them, and so they took them home. Uh, a few days later, uh, Tom called me and said, look, something's wrong with Cagney. She's short of breath. Um, she doesn't have any stamina. She doesn't eat that much, um, so I'm bringing her to the doctor. Um, he called me back a little later and said, hey, the... Um, the x-rays revealed that when that tire ran, that truck ran over her lower abdomen, it basically pushed all of her organs up into her chest cavity, puncturing her diaphragm. So there's a herniated diaphragm. Her stomach is up in her chest cavity, her liver, her kidneys, and so on. And it's crowding her lungs, which is reducing her lung capacity. And it's very close to her heart. And so any kind of blunt force trauma would um, almost certainly result in a cardiac arrest and an instant death. Um, so she needs emergency surgery. And so uh, my wife thought that maybe uh, I should launch a crowdfunding campaign to see if we can get some folks who love animals to come alongside us to help us uh, raise the funds that we need in order to get this emergency surgery for Cagney. We've been told that with the different surgeries that need to be done, uh, it'll be uh, at least $6,500 um, funds that we just don't have. Um, so if you have it on your heart to help Cagney, we would greatly appreciate it. Um, we need these funds as soon as possible. Um, and so anything you could do, we would just, just be just, just so, so thankful. Um, we just want to make sure that she has a full life. And uh, once again, we just thank you so much for coming alongside us. Thank you so much for even watching this and for considering it.